Match the hatch is a commonly heard phrase in the fly fishing world, yet when it comes to fishing streamers, this analytical approach is often ignored. In recent years, the world of streamer patterns has been progressively taken over by larger and more articulated patterns. While these flies can and do produce results, their smaller counterparts should not be overlooked. While larger forage fish species, such as sculpins and suckers, do inhabit many waters, the majority of bait fish species range in size from 1 to 2 inches. Young creek chubs, dace, and the various forms of darters are some common examples of these types of species. While small in size, these fish play an integral role in the diet of many trout. If you're unsure of what bait fish species inhabit your local waters, contact your game and fish department. It often only takes an email to acquire this little bit of information that can make a great difference in your fishing success. Over the past couple of years, there have been several exceptional products that have come out onto the fly tying market, particularly produced by the Fish Skull Company, that help to make the creation of imitations of these small species both enjoyable and effective. These are two examples of patterns that I tie and fish regularly on my home waters here in Colorado and Wyoming. When rigging these patterns to be fished, there are two tandem setups that I commonly use. In situations with deeper water, I prefer to rig the more heavily weighted fish skull pattern in the front, trailing a lighter masked bandit off of 18 to 24 inches of tippet. In shallow water situations, I run two of the lighter masked bandits in tandem together, trailing the rear pattern once again by 18 to 24 inches. If the waters that you fish are home to larger bait fish species, try trailing a smaller forage fish pattern 18 to 24 inches off of the hook of your primary pattern. I typically fish these patterns using 0x leaders and tippet material. I most commonly use an improved clinch knot to secure the trailing section of tippet to the bend of the front pattern. For both the front and the trailing pattern, I prefer to use a non-slip mono loop knot. This knot has proven time and time again that it has the strength to hold up to larger fish while providing the fly with a large and natural range of motion. If the waters you fish are inhabited by these lesser sized forage fish species, try adding a truly small streamer to your arsenal. You might be surprised by the big results that it produces.